Uh, you welcome to another lesson and feel free to interact. So far we have done enough. We are covering we are on benzene and we are on the reactions of benzene where we saw that benzene undergoes electrophilic substitution reaction and it doesn't undergo addition reactions oppose which opposes the Kekwede's work. <coughs> so today we talked about alkylation, we talked about halogenation of benzene, talked about sulfonation, nitration, and actually all those reactions they are equally important as far as organic synthesis is concerned. They are so important as far as synthesis is concerned. Because I will give you, I will say, synthesize this from this. Hmm? For instance, I will say, synthesize maybe this. Yeah, so for, so for instance, they can say synthesize this. Hmm? You have a ring. You have a ring. And you have maybe OH. And they want you to convert the OH into into maybe a benzoic acid. Okay? into a benzoic acid so now how are we going to do what are you going to do about it so do you see that the reactions of benzene become key okay the reactions of benzene so you need to know how to convert this to benzene i want to do it but by the by the time we finish it's just like a food for salt by the time we finish okay you should be in position to do so huh, you should know how to convert this to benzene teacher i have muted this so so you need to know that reaction where you can convert the phenol into benzene and then from phenol you convert huh, you find how you can form the benzoic acid from benzene and it's none other than addition of a methyl group okay so do you know how to add a methyl group on the benzene yes if you do do you know the mechanism of reaction that leads to addition of a methyl group on benzene yes and then finally you okay eh, ox okay you oxidize this methyl group into a benzoic acid do you know the reagents so it's just a food for salt okay it's just a food for salt just think about it so that by the end of today's lesson probably or in the, in the next lesson you should be in position to write all these mechanisms and all these synthesis okay brilliant so this somebody in the chat box asked what acidation is acidation is simply the addition of an acyl group or an acyl group to a compound okay to form an aromatic ketone hmm? an aromatic ketone you're going to see so an acyl group is you have an alkyl group let me just generalize you have an alkyl group and then you have this carbonyl carbon okay but instead of the oh or instead of the h or instead of the c another alkyl group it is replaced by a halogen or a halogen maybe cl maybe br maybe iodine so this is an acyl group okay 
an acyl group. So, using the same reaction as we did, we can add this acyl group. Hmm? For instance, when you have your benzene, okay, you can react it with, so that's benzene. Uh, like I told you, this is not how we write benzene, but because I'm writing with a touch pad, then it becomes hard to write that balanced structure. Okay? But all of these sides must be equal. All of these sides must be equal. So, uh -huh, so this one is going to be... Mm -hmm. So you are reacting it with... Oh, you want to add an acyl group. Okay? RO, CH, and then with a CL. So this is the same freedom craft acylation. Mm -hmm. This one is going to be. This one is going to be. Mm -hmm. You have your benzene ring. Okay. And then you have the C. And then you have the O. And then you have the CH. And so now. This reaction is important, important in organic synthesis. For example, I'm going to give you some synthesis and you try it out so that you can appreciate. So now, so what are we going to do? We shall react the same, but now we shall, we shall need a halogen carrier. Okay? Maybe aluminium chloride. Okay? Aluminium chloride. Maybe, so this is one, or you can use iron 3 chloride, okay? Any halogen chloride. Is that so? Sorry, any halogen carrier. And then you heat at 50 degrees Celsius. So if you do this, then you shall be in position to produce an aromatic ketone. Why a ketone? Because of this carbonyl carbon. Well, by this side, it is surrounded by a methyl group, and this side it is surrounded by an aryl group. So it is a ketone. Okay? It is a ketone. Let's see how this reaction is really important. I might give you this. I might give you this. Which one can I give you? Okay. Oh my God, sorry. I'm looking for a pen and I can't use yellow in yellow. So I might give you this and I said synthesis, hmm? write equations to effect. And actually, you're going to do it. You're going to do it. Get your pens and do this. So you have the OH here. And I want you to prepare. A secondary alcohol okay a secondary alcohol so I want you to prepare this uh-huh CH okay and then you have the OH here and then CH3 uh-huh so can you do that please chap chap and I'll give you 0 3 max. Mm -hmm. So can you give it a shot? Try it out, try it out. And we have studied all this, I think. We have studied all this. So I've seen your work and it's really let me say fair. So some of us did mechanisms, others no I want synthesis. Show different equations to effect how you can synthesize this. Okay? From this. You have this, okay? But you want this. Which reactions are you going to use? 
to reach your final product. So simply, you're going to convert this into benzene and we are going to see the reactions. Okay? You're going to convert this into benzene and then after converting into benzene, then you add an acyl group. What is the acyl group? And Jordan had the correct steps. But the reagents became Balzac. And then you add an acyl group, which is C. Okay? And then CH3. So this is an, an acyl group. Now, after that, then you shall reduce this acyl group, this carbonyl carbon, to form an alcohol. Yeah? Jordan had the steps, but the reagents had issues. So from this to this, and then from this to this, and then from this to this, just three steps, and you have the three marks. So now what are the conditions? So after knowing the steps, like I told you in synthesis, you, you look at what you want and then you look at what you have. And then in your mind you think about reactions that you are going to carry out to come up to what you want. Okay? Yes. So whereby, now if I produce... To form this alcohol, I will form it from this. But how am I going to form this from benzene? So can I convert this to benzene? Yes, I can. How? By heating it with zinc dust. Haven't you ever talked about this reaction? Eh? Preparation of benzene from phenol. Yes, we talked about it. Remember, I don't want you to forget. So zinc dust. Okay. And then we heat if you do this, you shall produce benzene from this, from phenol. We did this reaction in the preparation of benzene. Then we have just started this reaction today. Which reaction? This one, the Friedel-Craft acidation, mm -hmm. where we shall add the CH3, okay, and then see an acyl group. Okay, and then the Cl in the presence of the iron 3 chloride as a halogen carrier. We shall form this and then we heat up to 50 degrees Celsius. If you don't have the heat, then you are not marked. Okay, then we shall form this. And then from this, mm -hmm, what should we do? We shall just reduce, eh? reduce this to a, to a secondary alcohol. And we have different reducing agents, but the common one is we shall use lithium, aluminium, hydride in presence of dry ether, and we do the heating, we do some heating. So, don't you remember this reaction? Yes. And then we do some heating. So, basically it is as simple as this. And you will have your secondary alcohol. You want to name? This is carbon 1. And then, so it is going to be phenyl ether. Phenyl Ethan, because the ring is on carbon one, the OH is on carbon one, and this is so it is just phenyl ethan. This one is phenyl ethanone, and this is benzene, and then this is phen. So now, what is really hard? What's really hard? Hmm? Let me give you another another synthesis. We give it a shot because I see. Yes. I'm going to give you another synthesis and you give it a shot. So any query as far as this is concerned? Uh-huh. 
you can synthesize this. Now it's not that always you will use an acyl group or acylation. So you have maybe what do we have? Okay, we haven't studied nitro, okay? So let's say we have this. Mm -hmm. We have benzoic acid. Okay. Benzoic acid. And this is O. And this one is also O. So we have benzoic acid. And we want to prepare. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let me give you this reaction. Okay. And we want to prepare nitrobenzene. Uh -huh. Nitrobenzene. All these reactions we have studied then. Uh -huh. So how are we going to do it? We have studied all these reactions. Uh -huh. And maybe another one. We have phenol. And we want to prepare. We have phenol. And we want to prepare ethyl chloride. So these are just simple chaps. Hmm? These are just simple things. We want to prepare maybe. Anyway, let me not give you what we haven't studied. And you want to prepare this. Uh -huh. Can you do that chop chop? Yeah, that was some good work. You did some good work. So, from here, we shall form benzene. Okay. We shall form benzene. I said... I'm sorry for these structures, they are not good, but it's because I'm right, I'm using a touch pad. So we shall form benzene, and so here what will be the reactants, what will be the conditions? Here we shall use the fused soda name. So cadmium, cadmium oxide, in presence of sodium hydroxide. Okay, and then, so it's a mixture. Of calcium and sodium hydroxide, calcium oxide, and then we do some heating. We shall take off this group and remain with benzene. You remember this reaction even in alkanes, where you have CH3, CH. This reaction is important in 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 synthesis that involve reduction in the carbon chain. So the whole of this goes, and you form your methane so the uethane you are okay so even here it is the same thing so we shall form our benzene and then to add a nitro group we shall need kong nitric acid we shall need kong eh? kong sulfuric acid okay and the whole of it it is heated at 60 degrees Celsius. We shall form our nitrobenzene. So if I want, actually I wanted to give you this, but I saw we were not, we hadn't studied it. I wanted to give you this, but we shall study it, okay? Uh-huh. And from this you form aniline or amino benzene. So from this, you can still take it to Amino benzene, and we shall see. Then with this, we shall need to form our benzene. Same thing. Oh my God! Sorry for that. Okay. And then from this, we take it home. Just two steps. Can you imagine? And what do we need? Here we shall need zinc dust. We shall need to heat this with zinc. Okay, you you remove this phenol and you form the ring, and then the ring 
you just add chlorine okay in the presence of iron you just you get a mixture of benzene and chlorine okay and then in that mixture you add their iron and then you do some heating we shall form our final product and this was just simple just simple <coughs> okay so you practice these reactions that involve benzene practice enough practice enough do enough i'm going to post for you questions in the classroom somebody should remind me I'm going to post for you questions that have a ring and you do as much as you can you write mechanisms you write synthesis do as much as you can as far as benzene is concerned it is so let's talk about hydrogenation and with hydrogenation it is simple okay here we add it is the same reaction okay? reaction of benzene with hydrogen in presence of a nickel catalyst heated at 150 degrees Celsius, we shall form our cyclohexane. Hmm? Let me also give you another one. My God, this is too much. Hmm? So let's say I have this one, okay, and I have my benzene, okay, and I react my benzene with hydrogen in presence of platinum catalyst. Or in presence of paradigm at room temperature. Or in presence of nickel. Okay. And the nickel is heated at 150 degrees Celsius. Then we shall form what? Our cycle hexane. Just. Now it is as simple as this. And you can use this reaction also in organic synthesis. We shall form our cycle. So this is cycle. Hexane. Okay? And this was benzene. <coughs> this was benzene. For instance, I might give you such a reaction. And I want you to effect. Show me how you can prepare. Hmm? How you can effect such a reaction. And I give you phenol. Okay, this is OH, phenol, and I want you to convert phenol into cyclo, methyl cyclo hexane, ah, something of this kind. Mm -hmm. You want to give it a try? So just think about it. Mm -hmm. So you anyway, it is as simple. Uh -huh. So we shall have the first reaction is we shall form benzene. Okay, are you seeing that? Oh, sorry for that. Uh -huh. We shall form benzene. Okay, this one is not there. And then from benzene, we convert our benzene. To methyl benzene okay to methyl benzene icing and then a methyl group here so whether i put it here whether i put it here it remains on carbon number one and then from this i hydrogenate okay i react it with hydrogen in presence of nickel heated at 150 degrees Celsius hydrogen presence of nickel okay heated at 150 degrees Celsius I shall form this so the, the ring these delocalized electrons they get hydrogenated okay the, this ring undergoes electrophilic addition reaction to form or undergoes hydrogenation to form methyl cyclohexane so before you do this make sure you have this methyl group here okay 
So even if they want cyclohexane, you can prepare it from benzene. Whereby on your benzene, you add there the OH, and then after, you hydrogenate. So the, there is no reason why things should. <laughs> even if you want cyclo, this. Oh, sorry for that. From benzene. Cl. Just add the Cl here, and then you hydrogenate. We shall form this. So, huh? The reactions, I think these ones are just easy. We shall add CH3, Br, in presence of iron, 3, bromide. There is a E. We shall form our this, our methyl benzene. And then from this, we shall just add there zinc dust. Okay? And then we do the heating. So basically it is as simple as this. There is nothing hard here. There is nothing hard here. Okay? Yes. So whether it's this, whether it's OH, whichever way, whatever you want, you can prepare it. <coughs> So let's rub and proceed. So that is our reaction. And now, in presence of UV light, you remember when we were introducing this, we said that if you get your benzene, okay, benzene, and you put it in the same reagent with chlorine, and you seed it and you leave everything in darkness okay there is no observable change the greenish yellow gas remains but now when you transfer this setup okay to uv radiations to sunlight so that our benzene and chlorine our mixture receives some sunlight then the whole of it will react to form a catalyst. The greenish yellow, hmm? the greenish yellow gas is going to disappear. Why is it disappearing? It is because the benzene with the halogen in presence of UV light, they will undergo what we call a free radical mechanism or a free radical reaction. Whereby the chlorine, when exposed to sunlight, it will undergo homolytic fusion to form radicals. And now the radicals, since chlorine is, in, is a bit excess, now the radicals will induce the benzene to undergo electrophilic addition reaction. Okay? Not to undergo addition reactions to form cyclohexane. So, it, it is basically as simple as this, and we've covered all of this. So, chlorine mixed with benzene in presence of sunlight or UV rays, the benzene becomes highly substituted to form chlorine atoms. Hmm? To form this. So, let's write the mechanism. So, no, 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 not mechanism, but the reaction. So, you have your benzene. And that's our benzene. Okay. Ah. Okay. And the benzene is mixed with chlorine in the presence of UV ultraviolet light from the sun. Then it the 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 the, the, the halogens they will add themselves across this benzene. So that you have the CL here, CL here, CL here, the same, the same, and the same. Okay? And it's a free radical mechanism. Okay? And you can do this mechanism if you remember the other reaction. Okay? If you remember the other reaction, where? Maybe. Let's do the mechanism. You never know, you never know. But I want to do for all of these. 
I'll just do one or two and we proceed. So this is this is our product. And this one is one. So if you consider this to be carbon one, two, three, four, five, six. So it is one, two, three, four, five, six hexa chloro hexa chloro they are six chloride and then cyclo hexane <coughs> hmm? one two three four five six hexa chloro cyclo hexane let's try the mechanism just simply just for the sake or for security reasons because i might not give you the mechanism and you open your enable paper boom it's number one and you start saying you see teacher didn't give us the mechanism now see so this is chlorine okay in presence of uv so we shall have our one two three four five six hexachloro cyclo extent so you have the cl here cl here cl here CL here, CL here, and finally CL here. So the first thing that happens, homolytic fusion, where our CL undergoes what we call cleavage, okay, CL, to form radicals, where this will take one, and this one also will take the remaining one to form the two chloride radicals okay and another radical here so you remember this reaction in methane or in alkenes now the chloride radical that is formed it is the one that to react with a benzene ring okay it will react with a benzene ring so you have electrons here electrons here and i'll do just two steps and you've complete so the radical that is formed, okay, it will come and take and put its one electron here, and then this one also will bring one from the bond, and the remaining one will be taken up by this carbon. And so what shall we form? Oh, sorry, this is... Mm -hmm. So what shall we form? We shall form our radical of benzene. Can you imagine? So you have a dot here and a dot here and the CL here. Okay? With a radical. Radical of benzene. So you have a radical here. Okay? It's a dot, not a ring. Now, the, our benzene radical, it is the one that will now react with a neutral molecule, okay, of chlorine, where it will come, brings one electron, and then brings that one electron here, and then the other one is taken up by this chloride radical. And so what shall we form? Now we shall form, oh, uh -huh. sorry for that. This is not my benzene when I'm writing with a pen, but the touch pad is soft. So you have the CL here, and then another CL here, and then a double bond, and another bond. Then the same applies, the same reaction here, where here it will proceed, and you add the CL here, until when you have substituted and you form this as your final product. I hope it is okay. I hope we have explained. But if it is not okay, then we can still proceed, okay? It doesn't stop us from completing the reaction. It is you who, who can instruct. Now, so that, that's basically how the reaction is. is. So let's, call, let's talk about combustion and then we call it that. And this is the easiest you can ever find. All hydrocarbons, all hydrocarbons, they burn in air to produce carbon dioxide and 
water on we and so benzene it's not a special case it's also a hydrocarbon okay so it will burn in oxygen excess oxygen in fact to produce carbon dioxide and water it's not a special case it is also a hydrocarbon so you have your benzene c6 h6 and then burning in excess oxygen the oxygen must be in excess whereas if it's not excess then you produce carbon monoxide gas if it's limited you produce carbon which is not good so we shall produce carbon dioxide and it's a gas and water okay and this one is a liquid balance if you put a two here and a three here and the dice two if you put a six here and a three here so this is the oxygen they are 12 here plus 3 that's 15 so we shall put 15 out of 2 so that is our equation so if you want to balance without it then you shall just multiply 2 here uh -huh, 2 here and 2 here so you get your equation so basically that's how simple it is and so that's how we could mark the end of our today's lesson so please practice enough make enough practice the magic bullet is now practice i've given you enough you have enough information that you need now the magic bullet is practice 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 Otherwise, you'll be kawa. By the time you go back to school, trust me, you'll be kawa if you practice enough.